Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reef. On today's episode, we're gonna check out what could well become Australia's largest aquarium store. All right, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reef. Now today I am out and about on the road because it has been a few months now since the store that was previously known as Nature Aquariums and Water Gardens has rebranded to Nature Pets and Aquariums and has moved to a brand new premises. Now, if you follow them on their Facebook page, which I'll make sure I put the links down below, there is some big things in plan and in store for this shop. And uh, I wanted to give them a little bit of time to uh, move across because I know it has been a hectic time, but I couldn't hold off any longer. I had to get out there and check out the store myself. And of course, I wanted to take the camera along so I could bring you guys along for the journey. So let's go check out the work in progress that is Nature Pets and Aquariums. All right, here we are. The big sign gives it away. We're no longer in Mont Albert. We're in Whitehorse Road in Blackburn. Nature Pets and Aquariums. And you can see the huge car park that is coming to life there. It's going to speed through here a little bit. And you can see yet another large sign, Nature Pets and Aquariums. So uh, let's head on in. They've got the signs up there letting people know that they are indeed open. And you can see from this front room here, or we can see every single day except for Christmas Day, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So if you're chasing your aquarium fix, you know where to go. This front room here is a bit of an indication as to where the store is going. This section over here on the right is actually going to be a uh, nice cafe where you can go in and have some uh, coffee, have some, uh, I don't know, some sandwiches or bagels or stuff like that. And then over to this side will be a bit of a, a gallery of aquariums. Now, not just dry setups like this, even though we have the uh, fantastic brand new white cades here, and you can see all the different uh, sizes of the frag systems there with the prices clearly dis uh, explained on the front of the tank. So you know exactly what you're in for there if you're looking in that sort of system. And then likewise with some of the uh, peninsulas and then some of the standard system as well. They've got the uh, full assortment of cades there on show so you can check them out, but it's not just Cades, they do have other aquariums here as well. Here is a Neptunian tank, and um, you can compare how they look against some other tanks here. This one's the uh, brand new water box. Check out the all aluminium uh, cabinetry and everything on this. This is a uh, brand new system in the country. You can see the price comes with a decent uh, little increase in it, but uh, the water box Infinia looks to be a pretty legit system. Got a Red Sea system here. Looks like this one's just getting a little bit of maintenance done. In fact, <laughs> Ben's coming over just to switch the lighting and stuff back on it now. This one is a nice scape done by Jag, the man himself. And then uh, we've got some more systems here. Looks like another Cade here, or you can just see the lights on the, um, on the Red Sea turning back on in the background there which uh, this system obviously is using the full Red Sea components. So you've got uh, the Red Sea LEDs. You can also see free Metro delivery there, which is a, a pretty big deal if you're looking at a, a big system. Can often be quite a uh, conundrum to get a huge tank from a store back to your home. But uh, if you're looking at something a bit smaller, you can check out the uh, Red Sea Nanos here. Of course, the team at Nature Pets and Aquariums have got a full assortment of those. Again, with very easy to see pricing on the front of them, which um, does make browsing a lot easier which is always good to see. And of course, they've got the full assortment. These ones here have got the uh, back section here. So you've got your switches, you've got your skimmer, you've got your uh, filtration all in the back there, which means the cabinets just for all your accessories. But um, one thing that nature pets and aquariums have always, in my opinion, stood out for anyway, was their uh, fresh water aquascapes. And uh, there is no exception in the new store. There's this uh, little collection of systems here in the middle of the front room. And um, what a beautiful aquascape they are. I believe uh, Jag came in and did, did the aquascaping of these ones live in store in front of uh, crowds and people. So you could see exactly how the man went about it. And um, you could chat to him while he was building them. He's a, he's a very approachable guy. And um, he's got a number of different style of scapes there. And they all just look incredible. Looks like they're all done in cage systems. So you can really replicate this system to a T if you want here. And I'm sure nature pets and aquariums will help you achieve that. This is a nice little scape here. I quite like this one. It looks like it's been there for a hundred years, although I'm sure it has not been very, very nice indeed. And then if you need something just a little bit smaller, have a look at how simple yet effective these couple of systems are. I love that one on the left with that uh, nice bit of rock in there and a single beta swimming around. Pretty cool indeed. But uh, you can see there's heaps more tanks there and obviously still a bit more work to go uh, at Nature Pets. There's a little sign on the wall there just saying um, that construction is underway, but uh, you are welcome to uh, come in and check out the store. So 
This uh, bottom section will be all the gallery and all the dry tanks, so you can have a look at sort of, I guess, the finished product, if you will. Um, you'll be able to walk around there and have a look and see which tank and what sort of style of outcome you want. And then you'll be able to come up here and um, browse through the huge range of dry and live goods. Now, we'll start off here with some Fluval range. We've got Jewel, Eheim, Seachem uh, titles. I always get drawn to the Seachem titles. We've got uh, some freshwater lighting here. Uh, let's see what else we can find. We've got some uh, Cheerios lighting there, I believe. And then in the cabinet here, we've got some of the high-end freshwater lighting. So your freshwater radians, primes, kessels, see the FW there. The freshwater, these ones are not to be mistaken with the reefers out there. You've got the Cheerios lights. And then we come around to the end. What do we got here? We've got uh, some of the uh, cheaper lighting options there. And then on the other side of this shelving here, huge assortment of uh, fish foods. Now these ones, I think are primarily freshwater based, but uh, particularly with foods, they can sort of cross over a little bit as long as you don't go too extreme on the diets. But um, you see massive, massive range here. And if you were not aware, Nature Pets and Aquariums are uh, really big on their online store. They pride themselves on their pricing. So uh, be sure to jump on their website. I'll put the link on the uh, screen now so you can check that out. Very, very cheap pricing, very, very cheap uh, shipping, huge, huge range. So um, it is a, uh, for a store that is primarily, um, I was going to say primarily, maybe not primarily, but uh, very heavily focused on online uh, approach. They've got a huge, huge bricks and mortar store. And you can see even things like uh, freshwater ornaments there, massive, massive assortment of those. Got uh, some things that look a little bit more familiar to me. We've got the Aquaforest Sea Salt there which is not really used in reef systems, more so in your uh, fish holding systems, but uh, popular amongst uh, like restaurants and that that have uh, crayfish systems like that. Uh, we've got in the cabinet here, some of the uh, Dr. Tim's freshwater range there. Moving on to some of the Seachem uh, filter mit uh, materials or, and medias. Um, we've got LCA there. We've got uh, some more Seachem. We've got some of Jag's products there as well. This is what the man makes and uses in his own system. So again, if you want to replicate those aquascapes at the front of the uh, store to a T, you absolutely can to the final uh, nut and bolt. See a massive assortment here of uh, various uh, tank sizes. So whether you're looking to set up a little aquascape or a holding system or a uh, quarantine system, the team here at Nature Pets and Aquariums can take care of you. And then if you are looking to do some big aquascaping, whether it be freshwater or marine, they've got a huge range of all the different brands of uh, rocks here. Check out the Aquaforest Frag Rocks here. You've got the white and the black. Super heavy little uh, frag rocks, those ones. So if you need to lock something down, you can. We've even got uh, some of the Marco Rock here, like pre-crushed for you. You've got some of the Nanos there. Check out this. I know people who have had to crush up the uh, Marco Rock before. You can buy it pre-crushed, which saves you one of the tasks. Got some shelves there, you got some rocks, you got some caves, got some branches. Uh, then we move on to literal branches for uh, the freshwater scene. You can have a look at uh, some of the vines and different stones and types of uh, aquascaping requirements or necessities here. I don't know much about the different types of stone and gold vine driftwood, as you can see there, but it, uh, it looks impressive and I'm sure it means a lot more to the uh, freshwater people out there. Little scales here so you can uh, get all of your requirements and uh, weigh them up, see what they're worth. The uh, Dragonstone there seems very cheap, $7.95 a kilo compared to what uh, marine rocks cost. That's that's cheap. But uh, there's all sorts of uh, different types of stone here depending on what kind of uh, scape you're looking for. These ones here look like pumice stones, but I can tell you they are heavy, solid, solid rocks and there's no shortage of them there. So I'm not sure what they're used for in the uh, aquascaping world, but um, I'm sure there is a purpose. Now we've got some uh, ADA products here. What have we got? I'm not sure what we've got, but there's a lot of them. That's their soil. Yeah, cool. So ADA soils there, no shortage. We've got crates and crates of rock here. This is just described as white rock. Again, very cheap, $8.90 Australian a kilo. You're starting to get a feel for the size of the store here. One of the reasons for the move for Nature Pets and Aquarium was, I guess one of the major reasons was the car park. The parking at the previous store was always a little bit of an issue. It was on a fairly major road and didn't have a dedicated car park. This new store will have a massive car park. In fact, even as it stands right now, it has a number of car parks, but when that's finished, it's gonna have a heap of car parks out the front, which are dedicated to the store and the store only. But the other reason is 
they moved to a bigger location. Now, their store was not small before, but it is considerably bigger now. In fact, whether you, if you split the shop in two from the uh, display area through to the uh, shelving area here, it's still much bigger than any other store I've been to. And that's if you split it in two, combine the two and you've got a massive, massive store. Now, we are starting to get to some of the marine items here. You can see a full assortment of all of the Red Sea products there, whether it be their salts, their uh, additives, their test kits. In fact, it leaks over to this side of the uh, display here and these shelvings. Very, very handy. I know uh, I never really used to need to look out for Red Sea test kits all that often, but now with uh, my ReefBot Lab and my Mastertronic, I am looking for these refill kits quite often. So handy to see those there, including ones like the Iodine Pro Refill. Very, very good to know it's there. And then we move on to some of the marine additives and some supplements. So you've got your Seachem, you've got uh, your Delua, you've got your Coral Essentials in there, Continuum. Got a good assortment of coral essentials, all their trace elements and aminos. You can even see the uh, calcium trace carbonate play, uh, pl plus trace. I'm starting to trip over my own words here. Even some obscure things like some big syringes there. You've got uh, Dr. Tim's. You've got all the resins from uh, um, guys from Delua that bring those in. We've got some of the uh, medications. We've got the Triton tests there. We've got Hanna Instruments. We've got Kamoas. So you've got Versus, Kamoas, Reef Factories, all continuous duty pumps. So... You can pick your poison for your water change system there, whether you want to go Ecotech, Kamoa, or Reef Factory. You've got all the uh, Red Sea dosing lines there. You've got the CJ pumps galore from their uh, Nanos through their Pros to their uh, DC controlled ones. Massive, massive assortment of different pumps there. Onto some Octo return pumps, Vector return pumps, Delua return pumps. Onto Wave Makers now. And of course, we've got Vortex. We've got... Um, Oh man, so many, so many wave makers. Now behind me here, we've got some marine lighting. So we go from Alu Magic Blaze, a little bit hard to see here, but we've got uh, red sea lights, bit of a glare coming off the cabinet here. We've got Kessels in uh, their refugium lights, their uh, blue lights. You've got the 360s, 160s. You've got the uh, mounting rails and uh, hanging kits. You've got radians, you've got diffusers, you've got AIs. All these products on the shelf in stock ready to go. Reef Factory, of course, got their Reef Flare Pro lights there. Everything here is ready to go. Check out the huge range of um, just mass amounts of uh, Reef Factory KH Keeper reagents just in tubs there waiting for a shelf. And you've got this lovely displayed aquifer section here. I guess what I'm trying to say is there's a huge range of products here on the shelf ready to go. Not back ordered. Sure, the team has still got to do a little bit of uh, final touches to the store, but uh, if you jump on their website or if you're in for a bit of an adventure, you can head in store. Even the live products here, have a look at uh, some of the options here. Live Moina, can't say I've heard of that before, and Live Baby Brine. Full assortment there, Vitalis Foods, the rest of the Aquaforest Salts, you got uh, the Seachem Vibrant Sea. And then actually down this section, there's a range of pond products as well. So your uh, pond supplements, pond pumps, uh, lights, uh, fountains, all the things one could need, including uh, the Laguna Max Flow pumps, which are also commonly found in some high-end skimmers in the uh, marine world. So you've got a massive, massive range of products, which is what I've been trying to say a few times now. And, and basically that means that uh, whether you jump in, in store or head onto their website, you're going to find what you're looking for and you're going to find it at a great price, which is important in these difficult times as interest rates go up and um, the squeeze on things like the reef aquarium hobby gets more and more real by the day. Have a look at the uh, mass amounts of a uh, hose here, whether it be pond hosing or just your uh, aqua one hosing. More tanks, we've got uh, filter rollers, we've got reactors, we've got, check out all the uh, water box tanks there. Red Sea skimmers, you've got KH keepers up there, Red Sea filter mats. Um, you've got uh, the Seachem skimmers, you've got Deltec skimmers, Octo skimmers, Octo calcium reactors, Bubble Magus skimmers. Massive, massive range, and, and it's still coming out. Even chillers, every size of chiller there from Tico is there, from their small right up to their large. And you can see there's more to come. The team is still feverishly working away here. Lots and lots and lots of stock still coming out. Shelves still getting built. It's uh, it's all happening here. You can see the boxes of things just getting ripped apart, but it's probably time we have a look at what livestock they have in. Now, livestock, obviously a little bit more difficult to do in a transition phase. You kind of can't half do it, but um, let's see how the team here at Nature Pets and Aquariums are going because 
They've got mass amounts of livestock here. You check out the size of some of those chalice there. The extra, extra large chalice back there at uh, $200 Australian, well priced. Check out some of these uh, smaller pieces of chalice in here. No shortage of uh, fish in there. Scopas keeping things clean. Some nice torch there. Some hammers, some frog spawns. Nice uh, pectinia up the back there. Some lobos. Uh, what do you got in here? Some uh, cyanaria, some nice bubble corals. Have a look at those feeding up there on the back. The fish are just uh, following me along thinking I'm going to feed them. Good assortment of uh, rabbit fish there. An Australian stripey making sure that uh, there's no aptasia in the system. Some nice uh, blastos, duncans, got some acan frags, uh, some zoas, some more blastos. You can see the prices on the trays there, $20 Australian. Now that's not for the whole tray, that's per piece on that tray, of course. Uh, you can get down to $10 trays, which very, very cheap. You can see the uh, swim uh, heater and chiller there, keeping this system at the right temperature. We'll head around to the other side of this huge, huge uh, display tank of livestock here. Got a big divider down the middle, so it's this one massive system with no shortage of flow in it. Some big, big elegance there, some nice hammers, some scollies, huge amount of recordia there, some lovely deshies, very, very high-end deshies there. Nice indeed, and some slightly less high-end deshies. Number of recordia there, some big acan colonies, big hammers. You've got uh, some orange ricks on the shelf back there on sale. Got uh, some acros there. Let's have a look. We've got some NPS corals in here, which is cool to see. Um, for those who are setting up NPS displays, we've got uh, plenty of disco morphs there. Some more hammers, some zoas. We've got some uh, trackies. As you can tell, we've got quite a lot of coral here. You've got some nice uh, softies here, some leathers. Good assortment of leathers. Have a look at the sea of leathers there. <laughs> Heaps of them if you're looking for a particular LPS, or sorry, uh, soft coral for your tank. And yes, there is another one of these massive, massive systems to come with a big divider down the middle. That's a lot of coral in store already, but there is another equal amount to come. Let's have a look at the uh, fish they've got in at the moment. We've got some high-end clowns. So we've got the frostbites, super storms. Then we come back to your uh, standard okies. Got a few different uh, paired up just standard okies there as well. In fact, quite a few. Then we go down to some uh, lemon damsels, darky damsels, another pair of uh, basic okie clowns. Got a uh, nem in there. We've got uh, some bubble tips. No shortage of strombus. We've got uh, red stars. See some uh, cleaner rats there. Quite a few cleaner rats. Nice little baby blue tang. See orchid dotty backs. I can see uh, chocolate gobies. Quite a few fish in there. Heading up here, a little uh, tub of sand for the rats in here just to bury themselves in at night. No shortage of uh, blue green chromis. Some rabbit fish. Some uh, rats. See some of the prices on screen there. There is a scorpion fish in the system, which has uh, been kindly reminded to the staff that it is venomous, so uh, be careful handling him. Some Australian stripies in there. There's some fairly different looking uh, goat fish there with the red eyes. They're a bit freaky looking, but um, you can tell they're goats by those little uh, tentacles coming out. Some more goats down there, some more blue tangs. More and more fish in these big custom ordered cage systems. Uh, we've got a uh, nice uh, blue tang, Valentini puffer, some more blue tangs in there, some wrasse. And what do we got up here? Des Jardini, some rabbits, some great barrier reef chromis. We're just about at the end of the fish systems here. Yet yeah, there is more big bicolor angel there. Big, big unit. Uh, some golden head gobies there. Uh, got some bristle tooth down here, some uh, bird nose wrasse, nice hawkfish, some yellow assessors. No shortage of fish. I'm just going to get out of this customer's way so they can have a look at the uh, fish that are in stock at the moment. And then we move across. There are some more marine items here before we uh, scoot on down into freshwater. This is sort of a bit of an invert section. So we've got the uh, orange stripe hermits there. Good size too. Now you get some spider strombus, which is something that you rarely see, but at the moment is at a lot of stores. And then we move on to freshwater fish, which I won't spend a lot of time on. But um, obviously nature, uh, pets and aquariums are probably... Almost more freshwater than marine, so um, the huge range of uh, marine items they have in stock is uh, almost overshadowed by the huge amount of freshwater items, which is understandable from both your cold water up to your tropical, and of course your plants as well, which um, I'm pretty sure the uh, last aisle, you see some plants starting there, but uh, yeah, we've got some plants here, and um, for all your aquascaping needs, of course, the uh, team at Nature Pets and Aquariums have all of your live plants there ready to make that uh, scape come to life, but uh, 
Man, it's a bit of a whirlwind tour and you can see it is a work in progress, but that is nature pets and aquariums. All right, guys, there you have it. That was the tour of nature pets and aquariums. I hope you enjoyed it. It looks like they've got some incredible things to come there and already the scapes and huge range of goods they have on hand is very, very impressive indeed. Now I will wrap things up there. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, comments, feedback or anything like that at all, you just wanna get in touch with me in the comment section down below is the best way to do so. I do reply to each and every comment there. And of course, if you're yet to subscribe, please consider doing so. It takes two seconds of your time and all it will do is make sure that you do not miss out on any videos like this in future so if this is the kind of content you like to see feel free to hit that subscribe button and youtube will continue to recommend my videos to you anyway guys i'll wrap things up there i hope you have a wonderful day stay safe keep reefing cheers bye